In this video, I will show you how to change the aspect ratio of the 1 to 1 Bing AI image into landscape or portrait size using Leonardo AI. Log into your Bing AI creator page. Go to your creations and download the necessary AI image you want to make changes to. Next, you want to go to leonardo.ai to create an account. Signing up with them is easy. You can use your Google, Microsoft, or Apple account to do so. Once you are done, you will be taken to their homepage. From there, look at the bottom left side for the option Canvas Editor. Click on it and you will be taken to the editor section. Leonardo AI gives you roughly 75 free image generations per day. Now upload your image from your computer by clicking on the upload icon on the left side. Next, you want to scroll down on the right side and search for the Aspect Ratio tab under Advanced Controls. We will first change the image to landscape size, which is 16 to 9. A landscape box will appear and you want to adjust your image to fit within that rectangular box. Once you are happy with the results, you want to type in landscape under the prompt box. I have also kept the image generation to 2 to have another option in case I don't like the first image. Now go ahead and click on the Generate button on the right. Wait for Leonardo AI to finish the generation. With two generations, you can look at both before deciding which one you like better, and then click Accept. I prefer the first one. Now your image is in 16 to 9 aspect ratio. Click on the Download icon and save it into your Downloads folder. Now we move on to doing the portrait size image. Go ahead and clear the canvas history. We will switch the aspect ratio to 9 by 16 on the advanced control section. A portrait box will show up. Now type in the prompt box portrait. Then, you will want to re-upload the same image. The process is the same and you want it in the center of the box. This time, I have switched the image generation to 4, so there are even more options to choose from. It will cost 8 tokens, though. Now click on Generate. I went through the 4 images and picked number 3 as the best image. After that, download the image and you now have both landscape and portrait sizes of your image. Hope this helps and thanks for watching.